What's up, you guys? And welcome to Tracy Living My Life Tarot. Um, Virgos, this is going to be a general reading for you guys, okay? And I am not sitting here trying to step on toes or anything like that. I mean, because at the end of the day, everybody's grown. So really, you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want to do. But this is like a, a reading of warning for somebody here to take seriously heed of this situation, okay? Because Virgo, whoever it is you are dealing with, I mean, straight up, this person ain't shit. They is, since, I mean, seriously, like, this is a piece of shit that you're dealing with, baby. They breadcrumbing the hell out of you. I mean, breadcrumbing you, trying to do everything in their power to set you up trying to lure you with you know trying to tempt you and learn you with shit that look good like wolves and sheep's clothing coming at you but really don't give two shits for you i mean straight up and down i mean this is somebody virgo who is like really literally coming up in here they gonna have you feeling like this right here The four swords. Some of y'all gonna sincerely, y'all gonna really like mentally and emotionally. Some of you guys may even like break the fuck down. And just seriously have a nervous fucking breakdown behind this person. I mean, this person is gonna really have you and your feelings like completely fucked up. Have you all in your head emotionally? Some of y'all, like I said, feeling all depressed and shit. Like this is somebody who is literally coming up in here, and they are juggling you to fuck around the two of pentacles in reverse. They playing mind games with you. You understand what I'm saying? And and it's crazy because some of y'all are sitting here and you going through these damn financial struggles, and this person ain't helping you worth a damn, and you sitting here having to like figure some shit out, like how you gonna pay your bills, how you gonna eat, how you gonna put gas in the tank. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna do your laundry? How you gonna get to work? You know what I'm saying? You behind on some shit. You know, you could be scared. Lights get ready to cut off. Water get ready to cut off. You maybe get ready to get evicted. And you sitting here fucking this person and letting this person in and constantly in and out your house. You constantly feeding this person, cooking, cleaning. This person ain't giving you shit. They is literally feeding you these here fucking crumbs. Handing you these fucking crumbs. Scraping the motherfucking, you know, the, the shit off they plate. Like, here you go, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And this shit is crazy as hell to me. It's like when it comes to the four cups and you sitting here, you know, like really seriously contemplating on what to do when it comes to this situation. And for some of y'all, you know, you really stuck on that one cup. Three other cups you, you ain't really fucking with, but that one cup, you just, you just really, really stuck. And, and, and it's crazy because with this judgment card, it's like... Spirit is trying to give you this wake up call because but some of you don't see it. It's like if you don't pay attention to this here spiritual wake up call, y'all gonna fuck up and y'all gonna receive a really serious ass rude awakening behind this piece of shit because y'all are just so damn depressed, just so mentally fucked up all in your head over this person. I mean, and what you don't see, Virgo, is that this person is trying to do this shit here to you. And not even trying to. I mean, but look at this shit. Five of Swords. This person has no loyalty to what you whatsoever. Do you see this shit here? Do you see how they trying to set your ass up? That's you with the white dress. And this is some sneaky shit. It even could involve a third party. Where everybody around you is in cahoots. Because this is what the fuck they trying to do to you. They trying to set up some serious booby trap on your ass. And... Somebody sitting here trying to hold you accountable. You know, it's like everybody against you. It's like pretty everybody around you is pretty much against you. You ain't got no friends. And it's sitting here, it's like you having to protect yourself. You're having to look over your head, look over your shoulder constantly. Because people are always constantly trying to plot and scheme and do some dirty ass, shicey, shady shit toward you. And I just got to come in here and be it real. Because Spirit is telling you the time has come for you to pack your bags and get the fuck away from this person. They don't mean you no damn good. But some of y'all, you know, hey, you know, you having a hard time letting go of this person with this hangman energy. Some of y'all are feeling as though, you know, if you walk away from this person, you're just going to lose everything because this person is your world. This person just means so much to you because some of y'all are sitting here stuck because of the fact that you think this person love you because the sex is so good. Y'all could be, you know, you could be dealing with a Gemini. I don't know. Take it how, you know, take it how it resonates with the lover. 
but it's a, you know you stuck on this person's sets because they came in here and they either dick whipped you or they pussy whipped you or whatever the case may be but what y'all don't know is that you fucking with this shit right here the fucking devil You know, and just like I said, when it comes to this here King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with somebody who's trying to lure you in with nice shit. But they could be a motherfucking, you know, a wolf in sheep's clothing. And somebody's got ill attentions towards you with the justice card here. Leading you astray, blindfolded. It's like somebody sitting here pleading, you know, please don't do this. Really. But, you know, it's like the judge is sitting here saying, you know, well, didn't you know this? You had enough time, whatever, whatever, whatever. But now time is running out and somebody's getting ready to go before judgment. Like somebody could really be going away for not giving accountability, not being responsible for their actions. Some of y'all could be an Aries with the King of Wands. Somebody could definitely be um, mishandling their power of authority you know, mismanagement. And Spirit is telling you that it's time for you to close out a cycle because something is getting ready to come to an end. Some shit is getting ready to come full circle. It's like a door is getting ready to close or something. So something's getting ready to come to an end. I mean, I don't know. You know, I know they say when one door closes, another one open. But this here shit here... You sitting here having a struggle by your damn self. You ain't got no sort of moral support. You ain't got nobody really helping you back and you do shit. And this person's coming up in here making a damn fool out of you. They could be telling you what the hell you want to hear, but they ain't, you know, actions speak louder than words. This person's coming in here and they shitting on you. They don't have your back. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who's stealing from you, lying to you, cheating on you, manipulating the hell out of you. Some of them is laughing in your face. Because you could be sitting here giving this person money for, you know, for weed, cigarettes, alcohol, or whatever the case may be. Then they take the fucking money you give them and they go spend time with the next bitch. Or for your fucking wallet. I don't know who this message is for. But baby girl, catch it while it's there to be caught, honey. If this is you, mm. wake the hell up, mama. Wake the hell up. For real. Mm, 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 mm. shaking my motherfucking head yeah the time it, it, you know <laughs> it's like y'all are sitting here trying to make plans for the future or maybe the time has come for you to make some sort of plans for the future I don't know I don't know I don't know Virgo you know what I'm saying I'll be back we'll see you know I don't know <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. One more card. Then I'll get ready to shut this shit down. What the fuck? Hey, monkey see, monkey do. And this person can be getting tarot readers on you. They trying to say, yeah, this could even be another earth sign. Who knows? See, this is a past person, Virgo. Six of cups, still mate, petty and immature. Somebody who did you wrong as hell. They struggling. They struggling like a motherfucker. They starving. And this is the reason why they come and told with you. So, <clears throat> so they can come eat off of you. Spirit is telling you the time has come for you to tap into your spiritual room, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Look in the mirror or something like that, but I don't know. There's some damn disappointments here with the five of cups. Just like I said, Virgo. Uh, I don't know, baby. I'm going to leave it at that, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. I might come back with another reading. We'll see. All right? God bless.